you're seeing a lot of risk managers. I, we, what's interesting about someone who's in the, the retail, you know, the, the client facing part of this industry is what the, the product that you sell um, isn't apparent. Its value isn't apparent or your service, you know, the value of your service isn't necessarily always apparent until something like this happens, right? It's the, it's the hand holding, hand holding, it's the professional guidance. Um, I think you're seeing a lot of folks that did kind of do business in the, the, the old world environment, um, either stuck or having to, you know, transition to more of this, you know, digital sharing of thought leadership and expertise. Um, you know, I, I think I, a lot of people, the old mindset used to be like, why give something away for free when you can charge for it, right? I, I think mm-hmm. that mentality is completely out the window because there's so much good information out there for free nowadays that, you know, the, the, the cream rises, so to speak, right? So you're going to give out that like, you know, 95% of your stuff for free. It's that extra 5%, that's the real value, right? Um, but that's not unlike what used to happen before, right? What, what used to happen before was if I'm getting the same 95% I can get from anyone else, how do you differentiate yourself, right? It's that extra 5%. That's what you get paid for. So I think it's, it's different, but it's also the same. So um, I've really tried to do a lot more like this, uh, where it's more kind of personalizing. You know, we've talked a lot about, and you probably heard my dog bark a couple of times in the background. We've talked about the humanizing aspect of, you know, what rem- being thrust into remote work has kind of brought into the equation. And it also comes into that work-life balance you know, I feel closer with people having seen their homes in the background and having met their animals and seen their children and heard them and things like that, more so than the the kind of like buttoned up corporate America, you know, tie at the water jug uh, or at the, you know, the coffee break room kind of relationship that I had with them before. And I think it's, I think it's a positive it's going to take some time to truly understand how we're going to like navigate that from a risk management side, because look immediately you saw it with, with zoom and other online, I mean, zoom gets picked on because they have the majority of the market share, but other online meeting platforms, hacks and things like that, people saying awful stuff in chat when it wasn't password protected and things like that. There's all those risk management considerations that have to be put into place, but you know, the, the digital world is a completely different animal than, um, what used to be the kind of like knock on the door sales and, and risk management approach to things. 